If you thought Nazis had gone out of fashion sometime in 1945 when democracy overcame tyranny and a murderous dictator came to a sticky end in a Berlin bunker, think again. Nazis have now been seen wandering around the Victorian countryside, burning crosses and chanting racist slogans. Authorities are worried that white supremacist groups are on the rise and could become violent. Many would argue, and the international evidence is very clear, and indeed the local evidence, that their anti-Semitism is, is on the rise. And it's an evil thing, it's a wicked thing. Locals in the Grampians region of Western Victoria stumbled across around 40 people from a far-right group holidaying close to the tourist hotspot of Halls Gap. The group was, of course, all white and of course all male. There was no room for women in this Third Reich hike. The gang happily told residents they were neo-Nazis and admirers of the Ku Klux Klan, the notoriously racist, murderous US hate group. Images of the men standing next to a burning cross was a clear reference to the KKK. They talked of white revolution and chanted Heil Hitler, revolting people who lived and worked nearby. The group then took to social media to brag about how, despite the fact police were called, they were allowed to continue with their camping trip. While the mob didn't break any laws, some civil rights campaigners have said it's a small step from chanting racist tropes to committing violent acts. They point out the terrorist who slaughtered 51 people in two Christchurch mosques was radicalised online. In 2020, ASIO said far-right violent extremist groups now made up 40% of its counter-terrorism workload, up from just 10% previously. An extreme right-wing attack was now plausible, the security agency said. The number of terrorism leads we're investigating right now has doubled since this time last year. Small cells meet regularly, salute Nazi flags, inspect weapons, train in combat and share their hateful ideology. There are fears the insecurity caused by the pandemic and the growth in conspiracy theories has helped the groups extend their appeal. The gangs have been slammed as creating an echo chamber on fringe social media platforms where their opinions are constantly reinforced and those vulnerable to persuasion are sucked deeper into the mire. Dr. Devere Abramovich, chairman of the Anti-Defamation Commission, has said the hate group should now be added to the terror list. We need to combat this bomb that is waiting to go off, he said. We do not need to wait for a Christchurch in Melbourne to act.